Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Zips with Mahesh. So today we will see four reasons why uh, Cloud Deployment Manager CDM in short would vanish soon and Terraform would rock as GCP's infrastructure as a code. Let's get started. So if you search for Cloud Foundation Toolkit, the link which you will get is basically this one. So, so this is the one which I have opened. Now this if you had seen this page, at least in August time frame, you will see there was basically Terraform and Deployment Manager. But now if I click on it, it directly takes me to uh, Terraform Cloud Foundation only. So there's nothing related to uh, Deployment Manager. So if I use my uh, web archive or uh, URL, copy this and search for this. So in the month of August, if I look into this content, you will see basically uh, Terraform is also there and Deployment Manager is both will be there. So let's wait for the content to come up. So you see this. So both were there. So this is the reason number one why Terraform would, uh, sorry, why Deployment Manager would vanish and Terraform would be the uh, infrastructure as code for Google. Second reason, so this is Google Cloud Platform's GitHub page. Uh, my understanding is it is the official GitHub page. Um, look at Terraform samples. Look at the time when it has been updated. Very few resources are updated recently. Most of them are not updated. It's for almost like ages. So minimum two years, maximum even five years, they have not been updated. Reason number three. So if you look into the supported uh, services, uh, the types uh, with respect to deployment manager, GCP stuffs, you see very less folks. So for example, App Engine, BigQuery, something like this. Now if I search for Composer, I don't get it. Some composer is not even supported in Terraform. So if I say, for example, uh, Data Fusion, not there. Secret Manager, not there. So, so I don't see anything on that. So, but if I basically go and search for Terraform, Terraform. Terraform Cloud Composer GCP. I'll get an option for that. There is an option for that. So more support is there for Terraform. So if I change this to basically uh, Secret Manager, I have something for that. So similarly, uh, data fusion, I have not tried it. Let's give a try. Cloud data fusion. Awesome, folks. We have something even for uh, cloud data fusion. So this very clearly shows more support is there in uh, for Terraform. Deployment manager, it's not even updated, even though it is uh, GCP's native infrastructure as code. So this is the point number three. And the last point, which was somewhat my favorite. So I was just looking into this document. So totally not relevant to what we are looking. But what uh, interested me was usually whenever you do something on GCP, you will have an option to do it something in console, something to do it in G Cloud and Rust APIs. For the first time, I was able to see something on Terraform, folks. So why not Deployment Manager tab is not there? This is something like a hint that maybe they are going to go more towards Terraform. Uh, so, so those were the four reasons why I primarily think Deployment Manager could vanish soon and Terraform is going to rock basically. And just for your information, I'm not a Google insider. Based on what I saw, I thought I'll make this video. So do let me know your thoughts uh, and comments. Thank you for watching.